Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, we continue working on our war. We're just trying to grind them down at this point. We just have a few more systems in the Mirovandia Commerce Guild to occupy. And then we'll move on to someone else. Jehetma Dominion or somebody else. Um, we're still doing our anomalies in the Rigo system because we have the next of the reality code series 43 percent it's gonna take it takes 1400 days so it's gonna be a while before that is ready to go and we're not gonna be heading into any other further systems until that is done um because i want to make sure that you know we get the best results there and yeah we're just kind of going through we did um some design overhauls of our ships to take advantage of the new sentient metal armor um and to upgrade uh sensor packages and a few other things so we've got that to work on also i modified all of the fleets to increase their ship numbers um to basically get them up to full command limit So there's that. Now, it was pointed out to me um, that that will put us significantly over our naval capacity. Now, that's that's an issue, but it isn't an, an insurmountable issue. We can deal with it. In fact, we're going to start working on dealing with that uh, particular problem uh, today. So let's go ahead and get to that. Uh, one of the other issues that we are having is we are basically out of sentient metal. Um, and the upgrades that we are currently running are burning through that sentient metal very, very fast. So, I do have some sentient metal refineries that we can improve, potentially. Requires planetary capital. Okay, so can't touch that one, can't touch that one. I can upgrade this one. Not those. Not those. I don't think I have very many planets right now that have open construction slots to build new ones. That one can be upgraded. I know there were some other ones. I think. Pretty sure. There's one. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah, this planet. Um, oh. We can't really repair anything. All right, then. We can run through these real quick. Hope I don't miss anything. I don't think so. And nobody here really has any more open construction slots. Oh, I mean, we could improve these alloy foundries, but they're, what, volatile moats? I don't necessarily want to do that. Volatile moats are a little bit of an issue. We might see what we can do about that. Well, we basically, we, we need the planets in the, um, the cohesive stars, the colonies in the cohesive stars, to, uh, to grow. And in fact, we might do something more about that. All right, so that's as good as we're going to get there. Um, the other thing I can do is we can go to the market. Actually, let me just unpause it here for a second. And 
and I can buy a whole bunch. Alright, I basically just burned all of our cash. And... Okay, looks like that has stabilized for the moment. But we're probably going to have to do that a bunch more. Alright, now, fleets. Third fleet. You're not really doing anything right now. There's a one star we missed. At least about, that I've been able to find. Over there. We'll head it over there to grab that. Um... And I do need a construction ship to head back to the AMG Singularity System. So we're going to move a construction ship there. There's a construction ship available here. And then this guy is the one building stuff there. You are building stuff there. And you are working on the attack moon. Right. Okay. Okay, so while we let things run here for a little bit, let's go ahead and go through all of our stations. What I want to do is we're going to need anchorages, and we're going to upgrade any station that can be upgraded. There we go. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, shield hit points up. Uh, let's go for the energy weapon damage. Now these stations are down here, okay? This station, you can be upgraded. Go for it. You can be upgraded. Basically, any of these anchorage stations that are not fully upgraded, we're going to go ahead and upgrade them. Now, all of your slots are filled. All your slots are filled, so there's no point upgrading any of these. The Initiating Rupert station here can be upgraded. The garden. Go for it. Ah, uh, Watkins. You can do an anchorage first and then upgrade. You can do an anchorage. They are assaulting our spaceport. Ah, uh, no, they're not. The Wolf 359 station, yes, you upgrade. Uh this station can upgrade. We could probably replace a lot of this stuff with anchorages. That might be in the, in the next stage of this, but let's just do the easy the easy thing first which is just upgrade all of our star bases all right there's a shipyard you upgrade lemon station let's get a couple anchorages in and upgrade Upgraded Hixar station. We don't actually control that one. Job some more station. Upgrade. The Panasu, no. And Vatiri? Vatiri station. Go ahead and upgrade there. Alright, good. All right, traditions available. Let's go for Bulwark of Harmony, and that's going to give us another Ascension perk. I was looking through these, and I think what we're going to take is going to be... Uh, where is it? Space Industrialization to allow us to build uh, factory ships. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Alright, so we now can build factory ships. But the only thing it can really do for us right now is food, energy, and uh, minerals, which is not really not really all that interesting um, right now. But that should unlock upgrades. Ooh. That should unlock upgrades. 
to allow us to do other things, which is what I want to do. Okay. So we're going to wait for those uh, upgrades to come in before we start messing with factory ships. But we now have the option, at least. All right, Fifth Fleet, what are you doing? You aren't doing anything because the planet that you were bombing is, uh, is done. Okay. I'm going to bring them over here. Yeah, let's bring them over here. Wait, where is this transport fleet? There? Yeah, they should come over here. Who's over here? That transport fleet. Okay. Uh, let me take a look at this planet. Where, where are we at on this planet? Eh, maybe give that a little bit more of a tenderization, and then we'll uh, we'll head over there. The seeking interstellar league musician calling stalling himself fifty creds was less singing than firing off rapid barrage of Seegan slangs and slurs. And the final act of the night, he glorified plan is the lifestyle of his working class family which came from a neighborhood that was often heartbreaking and sometimes violent. After which he thanked the audience, asked them to keep it real and left for the next tour location on his luxurious private shuttle. Alright. Go for it. Now, this group here, you should be... Civilian Space Business Project. What are those? You have nothing recruiting here. We're still recruiting there. All right, that's fine. What is this? Finishes one month. Oh, okay. Go ahead and hit it. All right. I really forgot that was a thing, apparently. Construction complete. All right, so how are we doing here? You're still upgrading. First fleet is over here and it's bombing. Actually, we're not going to send you over there. We're going to send you over here. Let's see if we can free up the first fleet. Where's the second fleet and what are you doing? Um, You're heading back to the Ross 154 system. Okay. It will be really nice to get that orbital shipyard built over here. It would be nice to have another large shipyard. But this project first. Special project complete. This is it. Our civilians now have the possibility to start their own space business. Take in note that the type of activity will depend on the colony type. Oh, I think this came with the space industrialization. For example, while a capital will have the opportunity to do almost anything, a mining road will only transport minerals. Excellent. Unlocks decision. Civilian cargo focus departure on. Civilian colony convoy will have more chances to depart from that planet. Make it more useful if you want to only certain resources to be distributed and taxed, depending on the. Okay. Well, we'll see what that does. All right, seventy-four percent.
The other thing we're going to be doing is in our technology when this stuff finishes is, uh... Doing naval capacity research. Just checking, double checking to see if anybody here. No, we don't. Now, there's one thing I wanted to check here human illustratum. I have two trait points. I would like to get rid of slow breeders. Prominent intellectual on Venus. Hold on. Logic Colony is always an opportunity for advancement, especially for those who would not be able to raise prominence on worlds. Uh, Ganek Fenn, a former university professor well known for innovative thinking, has risen to prominence among the new colonists. They come to her to face advice on all matters. Local authorities are worried that a rising influence over the populace. As she threatens to lead the citizens of Venus astray with a view that they will never achieve anything important unless they dedicate themselves to education and knowledge instead of spiritualism. Which the unified Bulgar Empire's government considers to be the proper pursuit of all good humans. Um, we will tolerate her. That's fine. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Just a second. Vestigial psionic. No. Top housing usage plus 15%. This species inhabits any environment as if they were a natural part of it. Pop growth from immigration minus 25%. Okay. Resettlement cost plus 50%. That's fine. I don't really hardly do any of that anyway. So let's throw that in there. Create the template. Apply template. No, no, no. We need, we need to apply template to different planets. Purpose of the Penrose Sphere. Alright, the Penrose Sphere is finished. We're going to use it to generate energy. We're not going to make it a bomb. Hold on. Uh, come on. Come on. Misclicked. So, this version of humans. Apply the template. Five thousand four hundred and sixty society research. Society research is just in twenty seven thousand society research. Yeah, I would like to actually do what do I want to do this to all humans? Um pause, 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 please. Maybe no. Yeah, I want to apply that to everybody. 307 pops. Apply the template. It will take five months to finish. Easy peasy. Do it. Alright, Ultra Cannon is now finished. 
Okay. Um, civilian repa complexes, elegate insights, cruiser hull points, psionic thrusters, battleship build speed. Um, let's improve the cruiser hull points. It'll just take two months. Actually, that gives me a bit curious. What is our demographics just out of... This doesn't really give me... I mean, I could click on individual ops. Not really. I know there's a way to basically see everybody that's in there, but I guess we can just do it this way. Sort by. We have 732 robot blocks. Uh, we have a lots of ver humans, urbanites, kroll. We have a lot of kroll apparently. Well, we did Beginning absorb them, I believe. Jahabanids, Izru, Lansania Wasari. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Yeah. But those are basically the, the dominant. Interesting, we have more ver. Our ships have been made superior. In humans. Seeking help of the ancients, despite the massive progress we've made in the last few centuries, there are some illnesses that the best human doctors cannot heal. It is Empress Ilmus the first's misfortune to have been diagnosed with one such disease. The doctors are stumped by the sudden onset of a rare degenerative brain condition, which has left her mere months left to live. There are, however, societies so advanced that that would be a miracle to our people is commonplace to fact of life there. Societies where even diseases such as this are extinct. However, drawing their attention upon oneself can be risky, for their mood is unpredictable. And the wrath, terrible. Nevertheless, perhaps the ancients will be willing to save Ilmus I if offered the right price. Prost the Kinjodin. The Kinjodin Watchers. They like us. Because we are Zarklan's chosen. Right. Yeah, we'll approach them. See what they can do about this. All right. Um, let's see. Focusing arrays for weapon damage increased. Uh, we'll take energy weapon attack speed next. And there's our hull points. Do we have the upgrades for the... No. Let's reduce the starbase building alloys cost. Because we're going uh, to be running through a lot of that. Uh, here soon, so. Right. Third fleet is now done with that. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got to deal with the Penrose Sphere. Um, start heading back toward the Soul System. Ninth fleet. You need some upgrades. Go ahead and hit them. How much are we making? Plus 18. Really? It's 
odd. I thought it was much higher than that before. Uh, we will help our friends for a small price. Paying Fallen Empire for a modifier for 60 months given the following effects. Monthly unity minus 15%. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take that. That's no big deal. We're going to need to stabilize the Penrose Sphere. Now, where is that? Uh, where is that? Construction ship. Over there. Okay. The enemy is targeting one of our stations. Attack Moon construction site has been built. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Attack Moon movement systems. Go for it. Now. The humans illustratum civilian... Civilian colony departure. Okay. A civilian colony started its journey from Van Horn Prime, a convoy. The ship will now head toward the closest colony inside of our borders and distribute its cargo. Okay. New subject empire. So basically it makes them a vassal. Um... I'll take the the Federatus or Federatus. I'm not sure how much that makes sense, but eh. the Ninth Fleet has been upgraded. Excellent. I'll move the Ninth Fleet to the Volkill system for the time being. Alright, the Overlord is not doing anything. Um, I don't think it needs to do anything. Uh, we'll go ahead and just park it back in our territory for the time being. Let me take a look at this. Uh, this planet... Uh, I think we're probably ready to go ahead and land some troops. So let's go ahead and land some troops. Now, what about these planets? Wow. That is a lot of them. Um, that almost be willing to blow that up. But, um, let's see. No armies here. Okay, so that's... Easy. Yeah, let me actually just, uh, where's the overlord? There you are. Can't quite reach it in a, just a single jump. All right. Well, what we're going to have you do is I'm going to have you do a jump here. We have healed your leader as a sign of our favor to you. We have added a small addition to our abilities. May she use it well. The trait Psychic has been added. Explorer. The Psychic, Governing Athletics Attraction, Monthly Influence, plus 0.5. Very nice. We will take it. It only costs us a little bit of unity over time, which, Initiating you know, ground assault. Victory so be it. Be Initiating ground assault. Okay, we've occupied that planet. Actually, we're not going to worry about this anymore. We're going to go blow that one up. 
So we'll just have you head in this direction. And the uh, the major fleets. Stay there, at least for the time being, until the job's done. Species adjusted. All right. Our human pops have been adjusted. Excellent. Remove that slow breeder's trait. Okay, so you're not you have stuff that you still need to build. Bill it. Where are you at? 68% on that. Okay. Well, I think we're at the end of the episode, so we'll go ahead and stop here. And yeah, coming along. We have 39 more war exhaustion points to go. So we can now bring that to negative. Or no, just zero. So we need just a little bit more. A little bit more occupation score. And then we can do it. Which we're almost there. Okay. All right, so for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.